Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is differentiation, and we'll be looking at the concept of the derivative of inverse tangent of x. Let's start by looking at the differentiation rules for inverse tangent of x. These are in the top center of the screen. First, we have the differentiation rule which applies when the argument of the inverse tangent is x, and that derivative is 1 over 1 plus x squared. If the argument of the inverse tangent function is a function itself, then we need to apply the chain rule. That is our second rule given. The derivative of the inverse tangent of a particular function is 1 over 1 plus the square of that function times the derivative of that function. That times derivative is an application of the chain rule. We have two examples that we'll work through and in both we'll apply our algorithm. Six steps to the algorithm for differentiation. One, identify function type. In these examples we're specifically looking at the inverse tangent function, but the algorithm applies to any differentiation scenario. Two, apply differentiation rules. Three, if necessary, use product or quotient rule. If we're multiplying two functions or dividing functions, then we'll use the product or quotient rule as appropriate. Four, if necessary, use chain rule. If we have a composite function, then we'll apply the chain rule. Five, simplify. Six, if required, calculate slope at given x value. In some scenarios, after calculating the derivative, you're given an x input and asked to calculate at that x value the slope, which means you input that x value into your derivative. The output will be the slope of the function at that x value. So let's look at example 1, the derivative of inverse tangent to 4x. 1, identify function type. This is an inverse tangent function. 2, apply differentiation rule. We have two rules to consider for inverse tangent. Notice that our argument 4x is a function. So we're going to use the second inverse tangent differentiation rule, which reflects the need to use the chain rule on the inner function. And that derivative is going to be 1 over 1 plus the inner function squared. So that will be 4x squared times the derivative of the inner function. The derivative of 4x is 4. Step 3, if necessary, use product or quotient rule. We don't need either of those rules in this example. Step 4, if necessary, use chain rule. The chain rule does apply in this case. We're using the chain rule in selecting the second differentiation rule for inverse tangent. 5, simplify. We have 1 over 1 plus quantity 4x squared times 4. In the numerator, we'll end up with 4 times 1, which is 4. In the denominator, 1 plus 4 squared is 16, and x squared is x squared. Our simplified derivative is 4 over 1 plus 16x squared. Step 6, if required, calculate slope at given x value. We're not given an x input in this example, so step 6 doesn't apply and we're done with the requirement for problem 1. And in the next video, we'll differentiate the expression in problem 2.